Hey, um, this is for Holly Jameson. Um, again, I'm going to apologize for the street live stream being cut off. YouTube's got they're they're, they're trying. Everybody's coping. Everyone's doing their best, and um, you know they're relying on automation right now. So you know. We just got to roll with it, make the most of it, do our best. But I did promise if you left me a question, I would read for you and post it. So, Holly, your question was, what does Mark feel for you? So, let's see. Let me shuffle in the cards. What does... Mark feel for Holly. Spirit. What guidance, what clarity, what information can you give Holly regarding her Mark? What information, guidance, clarity? What guidance, what clarity, what information? Right now, Mark feels. I'm not getting anything popping out, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the deck, and let's see. Feeling compelled to shuffle. I'm feeling ambivalence. Neutrality. Just mark feel for Holly Spirit. Okay. That's the moon. See if we can get anything else. Okay. Uh, this one's flipped twice now. Eight of Cups. I don't know why. I just feel like you would know. Mark seems to me dark and moody. Kind of a loner. Don't know why the black wolf is really popping out to me, but it is. He seems like a bit of a loner of a bad boy. Yeah. Honey, I'm sorry. These are the cards that flipped. It's the devil and the five of pentacles. I'm really, really, really getting 
He's stuck right now. Bottom of the deck. The Four of Swords. I'm just feeling like he's had some really, some real life challenges, some really emotionally constricting things. And he's not sure how to work through it. I'm, I'm feeling lost in this reading. The cards all make sense, so don't get me wrong. That's not what I'm saying. The cards make sense to me. I am feeling that energy of just almost like a lost, hopeless, trying to power my way through life because... I don't really know and I don't think he by design hurts others or takes people down with him on this journey but I do feel until he really really goes within reflex understands the battles that he's experienced, understands the lessons, what worked, what didn't work, until he can do that, I feel like he's lost. That's the word that just keeps coming to me, lost. Not saying he's a lost cause. I'm not saying he's a lost hope. I'm not saying that at all. I hope that makes sense. The moon, I'm looking at this card. And again, the black wolf, because here's the thing. When I read tarot, like I said, I'm intuitive. And what pops out, and you know, normally I see the path, and I see the moon, and I see the moon, and it looks like the moon and the sun. And I see, no, all I see on this card right now for your reading is the black wolf. I see it standing alone, isolated, um, emotionally wounded. Left out in the cold. Wanting. Not really even knowing what it wants. And certainly not aware of how to receive. Then we follow up with these Eight of Cups. This is, this is an emotional bridge. But it's so precarious. Look how these cups are about to topple over. And there he is. Turning his back, walking away from everything, walking, leaving, going up the mountain, going towards the hardship and the challenge, rejecting the precarious emotional balance that was here, and just, boom, I don't want it. Then we got the devil, feeling bound, feeling trapped, feeling tortured, feeling um, constrained, not knowing how to break free. Uh, even though those chains are kind of a farce. But allowing. Allowing himself to be toyed with. Because he simply doesn't know any different. He doesn't know any better. And then we follow up with the six of pentacles. But in this I don't see him. If he's the one giving out the coins, I feel it is in a diminishing manner. However, I more strongly feel 
he's symbolically asking for coins. Does that make sense? He's really a wounded soul struggling, trying to find, trying desperately to find that path. When I say symbolically asking for coins, coins represent earthly things. That doesn't just mean money. Um, it can mean peace, stability, family, home. Like I said, I feel like when I read this spread, my heart hurts. Like, I really, I want to cry. So what does he feel for you? Nothing. Ambivalent. That's what I said at the very beginning. And I say that not in a bad way. He is so entrapped right now in his own agony. He doesn't have the capacity. Could he down the road? Potentially. Let's look. Okay, so we already did. This is the bottom of the deck, the four of swords. Let's see what else we got. We got the two of wands. Choices. Okay. He's, he has the ability to make choices. Then we got the seven of cups. Once he makes those choices, once he makes the shift, he's got the ability to dream. Dream his dreams. Dream his desires really embellish and and go into it and what does he want and guess what's underneath that we got the three of cups celebration emotional victory coming together unified and then we got the ace of swords then there's the king of cups <laughs> and then the two of cups like seriously there's, but, but he has, he has to be the one to clean up his energy. You can't do that for him. I've been there, done that. I've been the one tortured. I've been the one to walk away. I've been the one begging for the coins. And again, not many. Well, I still am the black sheep. <laughs> I understand. I really can relate to this and this is why my heart hurts for both of you. However, I've also gone through the transformation. I've went into my Four of Swords. Of course, for me, it took a couple of years. I'm older. So, I had more. Huh? I had a whole lot more to contemplate, but he can come out of it. He can change, but again, oh my goodness, this is a running theme tonight. Are you willing to wait? Because you can't fix him. You can't change him. He has to do it. There is, you only control you. Bottom line. You only have control over you. You do not control anybody else ever. It's like trying to fit a square peg in a round hole. It don't work. So, Holly, I hope this is helpful. I give you my genuine love. Uh, healing. This is not easy. It's just not. I understand. 
I understand way more. Both your side and his side. I, I do. So I um, wish you all the very best. I hope this gives you some insight, some clarity, and helps you decide what is best for you because that's all you can do, boo. You have to do you, first and foremost, okay? All right, on that note, I love you. Thank you. And again, I do apologize for the glitches. And um, I think your question was the last one. And if I did miss anybody, hopefully they will message me, email me, call me out, let me know. Because I don't want anybody left out. It's not my game. That's not how I roll. So, like I said, I know what it feels like to be out in the cold. And I don't want to do that to anybody. So, love you guys. Have a great night. And thank you again for your patience and understanding. All right. Bye.